Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we entered the Great Tree and freed the Puny Elder, and she gave us the power to control the Punies. It's just like Pikmin now. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and use them to explore the Great Tree even further. Now if we go up here, we see this thing that we saw before. We could insert the Puny Orb into it, and it forces all the Punies into one position. And ever so conveniently, we needed 10 of them to push this thing down, and we got 11. Yes, very much like Pikmin, actually. My goodness! Would you look at that? A pipe leading down! Let's see where it leads. I'm sure this was like some sort of advertising campaign for Pikmin as well, because it was like a big deal on the GameCube. I always like the concept of just thinking how Pikmin was a game that could not exist on the N64, and like, sort of, the same thing with Splatoon, how it was a game that could not exist until... Um, I guess it could have existed in an earlier sense, but the online aspect certainly couldn't, but it's just interesting how like certain games have elements to it or movies have graphics or characters that outright could not exist uh, certain years ago, which I think is really cool. Uh, that x not right there has a stopwatch. It makes it so we freeze in time. We're not able to move for a short period of time. Thankfully, he didn't get to use it. And I'm just going to go ahead and body slam. Got a bunch of toads in the audience. What is it, the entire cast of Paper Mario Color Splash? Okay, I'll stop making references to that. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I'm actually super hard against that. I'm actually proud of myself. Uh, just go ahead and jump on you, and we're good to go. I still yet to play Color Splash. I hear the- I've seen, like, bits of it. I love the graphics. I think it looks really stinking nice. But still, the fact that every character is a tote. Oh, he dropped the stopwatch. Uh, can't carry it, though. Uh, I don't use this thing. Forget about it. Uh, but what I was saying, I love the graphics of it. I think it looks really cool, and the dialogue from what I've seen is really stinking funny. But the gameplay is still very, very boring. It has actual purpose to it, at least this time around, but it's uh, still really boring. And I don't like that every single solitary character is a toad. Ugh, it's just whatever. Like, how could they just mess up so stinking horribly? Apparently, like, there are rumors that Miyamoto hates this game. Or not, like, hates Thousand Year Door, but, like, he just doesn't necessarily like the formula. Because, like, he didn't have any involvement in this uh, in this game, as far as I'm aware. Ooh, Thunder Rage. You definitely want that. Uh, drops lightning on all enemies and stuns them. Uh, what to get rid of? Uh, I'm going to use up our, uh, let's see, our Shroom Fry, so we get heal HP and FP. So we are in need of both of them right now. I know I could have just used the heal block, but whatever. I just always, like, I'm actually, it's weird when I'm actively trying to, uh, get the cookbook all figured out and stuff, so it's interesting. Uh, we got another Shine Sprite, so we got, uh, three of them, so we can go ahead and upgrade another party member if we wanted to, but I don't want to go back and do that. As you saw, the Punies do not run off a cliff with you, but whatever. Uh, what was I talking about before? I was talking, I remember, I was talking about some sort of intellectual conversation. I was talking about, uh, Color Splash or whatever. Uh, it's not good. <laughs> I don't know, whatever, just go over here. Oh yeah, Miyamoto, like, there's some, I don't know if he's actually outright said this in interviews, but, like, I know he didn't have any involvement in this game, so... Uh, he just said that, like, he didn't want to do something similar to this. He's, like, super against it. I'm not sure if he hates this game or if, like, I don't know. It's just weird that... I know he said things about, like, not liking Donkey Kong Country because he didn't like that. The games were pre-rendered graphics. He'd rather uh, create graphics that were uh, natural within the game, if you know what I mean. So if you put the orb on this side, then all the pews are just, like, forcing themselves over the edge, but they don't actually fall off the edge. I wish Pikmin were this smart. They don't actually walk off edges. But you use Flurry to blow them, and eventually... You just blow all the bubbles away. Very, very nice. Now, first time playing this, I did not think to blow the punies over to the other side. I thought to use the orb, but, like, when you use the bubbles, they'll eventually pop, and then the punies will just, like, skitter across, like, very slowly, and then they'll fall back to the ground, and then they'll get into another bubble and then go back up. It took forever to get them across, so thankfully I do know how to get them across quicker this time around. Let's go down here. And what do we got? I know there's like a uh, star pieces hidden behind pipes, so be sure to check behind pipes every time you're going through here. I think a new enemy is about to come up, so I'm going to switch to Gambella and be prepared for it for once. Be prepared! This guy, it's known as a Piter. The one thing that you want to keep note of, I think Gambella's going to mention it, so I'll let her do her job and explain the Piter. So creative, it's like spider, but with a letter missing. That's a piter. Ick, they gross me out. Max HP is five, attack is two, and defense is zero. Ew! Besides its normal attacks, it might spit three web heads, web heads, web wads at you consecutively. 
You better have good timing if you want to guard against the attacks. It also says uh, here that the punies can't stand piters, so I'm not the only one. Just the sight of these things make punies flee in terror. I know how they feel. So yeah, you may have seen it right before the battle started. If you get near a piter when you have punies with you, they'll actually just run away and they'll fall off the cliff. So be sure you get rid of these things so you don't have to worry about that because it's very annoying to gather up your punies afterwards. And, un and this isn't completely unnecessary because uh, now I don't have to do any super guarding. As you can see, or Goombella still has to do it. I, got, I forgot the spell only affects Mario, so that was kind of funny. I just got like spit in the face. All right, whatever. Um, I'm gonna have Mario use a regular jump. I think 5 HP, geez, I didn't think they had that much. Let's see if we can do a better uh, multi bomb because I kind of didn't like that I didn't do that well before. There you go, the King of Power Bounces is back. Yeah, the King of Super Guardian and Power Bounces, but like I said, that is unfortunately the maximum amount of Power Bounces you could do. It cuts you off at like 9 or 10, which is kind of lame, but oh well. Uh, they actually didn't fall off the cliff. That's pretty uh, convenient. Like, oh, we can't even see Goombella because she's so short. Uh, switch back to Flurry, and uh, this thing, we could just blow it away with the wind. And have a thing freeze like that okay whatever um we're gonna go down here first see if there's anything that we need there is a shine spray we definitely need that uh flurry however i forgot to mention she can't damage enemies with her attack uh on the field but she could stun enemies so if you don't want to fight an enemy you can just go ahead and have her blow on them and then you can have mario follow up with an attack which is very nice what ones if i completely miss wow it actually misses entirely i thought it just did minor damage but no she loses wow that was convenient they have a bucket fell on them <laughs> Oh my god, Bucket finished this thing in fight. That's thing hilarious. I've had some really funny moments with, like, uh, stage hazards and stuff. I hope we get even more of those because I I have a story that I want to tell. I can't tell it because, like, it spoils a certain boss, but I have a very specific moment with a stage hazard and, like, a spell effect and whatnot that happened during a boss fight, and it was the most amazing thing in the universe. I don't think we could replicate it in this LP, but we could only hope, I guess. Uh, can I go ahead and hit this guy? Okay, nothing else down here, but there is a pipe, so we're gonna go ahead and examine that real quick. And we open up that airplane panel, but I still wanna see what's down here even more so. Uh, hello. What the heck is that thing? Mario, did you see? That was a jabby! Based on what Plurper said, they're helping the intruders and trying to seize the tree. Our tribes have been enemies for a long time now. Every time we meet, we fight. A lot. But I used to get along with Jabble. He's one of the Jabby tribe. I wonder if even Jabble is my enemy now. The world may never know, and I feel like I'm gonna forget about the airplane thing, and I feel like the airplane airplane is less progress and more secret items. So I'm gonna go check out the airplane real quick. Plus we still gotta get that shine sprite, so we just go back up here. I think this is actually for the shine sprite, so we're just gonna go and ride this. The punies do not come with us. And yeah, it is just for the Shine Sprite, so go ahead and do this now, I guess. I need to ride down and... You know what? I should have thought about that. I thought it was going to lead me to a secret room or something. Go ahead and do that, get a Shine Sprite, and we can continue on with our adventure. But we do have to go ahead and go back up. Attract the punies over here, because they can't just use common sense. So they are a bit like Pikmin in that regard, in which they can't use common sense. But whatever. Just keep on going over here. Uh, I guess we can talk about sort of Pikmin stuff. I was, I've been thinking for a while since... Oh, I love that I can finally talk about these subjects, because before I wasn't able to talk about that, I had a limit of LPs that I wanted to do or whatever. Or maybe I didn't, I just uh, never said the exact number. Uh, but real quick, we'll go in here. Real quick, we'll go in here real quick. Whatever. Just walk over here, and... It's the Jabbies! Oh no! Everyone, it's the Jabbies! It's 10 Jabby Squadron! Let's do them! Come on, Mario! So we got 11 Punies versus 10 Jabbies! Who's gonna win? Oh my god! Woohoo! Woo, Nelly! You could somewhat help out with this fight by just like hammering around, and I think Flurry's Gale Force uses uh, does help out with that. Hey, we did it! We every last Jabby here. Now we can destroy the Jabby and Fortress. Then you just go on into the hive and boom, boom, boom. Shaka, Laka. Jeez, really seeming powerful. So now we could go on through here. We just murdered a bunch of poor innocent Jabbies. Like they. Said they lived here, not in peace, but like, it was their home originally as well, so I don't see why we have the right to go ahead and harden them, so. Uh, we got a puny star, moon, and sun. You're gonna want to remember that combination for later. Uh, what's in this treasure chest? 
A blue key! Hooray! Now we can go ahead and save the punies. Yeah, so this keeps me able to open the cell and peep my people are locked in. Hurry, we have to free my sister and the others! Uh, got nothing else for us right now. You're just gonna want to remember this combination. Puny star, moon, sun. It'll be useful for later. Uh, I will start my topic about Pikmin, but I feel like that's gonna be a cutscene as soon as I walk through this door, so... Yeah, I'm way ahead of the game. I actually remember things for once. You're not gonna cut me off this time, game. Instead, I'm just gonna be awkward in predicting your stuff, and it's gonna make the surprise all that less surprising in that sense and stuff. And they'll never come back, and that's the end of what's gonna happen to us, and... Ah, by the way, what's that thing you've been holding onto so tightly? It's a mushroom! Oh, not to be you know, weird, but it looks all dry and wrinkly and gross. Like the elder. Yeah, yeah, I know. I picked it so I can give it to my brother to eat. But then I got captured and stuck in here, and after a few days I tried to... God, they were here for days? Oh, really? Good story. Anyway, don't worry so much. I'll make a plan so I don't show Penny will return. I guess all like, oh, they're never gonna come back for us. Oh, I'm sure it'll come back for us. Don't worry about it. Uh, we'll be there in just a moment. So what I was trying to say about Pikmin is that I'm trying to think of whether or not I want to let's play Pikmin 3. I recently played Hey Pikmin for the 3DS and I hated it. So that thing won't be happening soon. It's weird because like I was actually in support of a Pikmin game on the DS. After playing Kirby Mass Attack, it gave me an idea of what a Pikmin game would be like on the DS. And I really liked it. I love Mass Attack, but I do not like Hey Pikmin. I think the controls are just really wonky. It's very slow. I just do not like it at all. So... Uh, unfortunately, that game did not turn out to be all that great, but I got it for cheap because it was uh, at Toys R Us before they shut down. <laughs> oh, how sad. I did not get nearly as much stuff from Toys R Us as I would have liked during that sale thing. Unfortunately, I was just too busy. But I got stuff, so I shouldn't be complaining too much. Just keep on going through here. Um, What I was trying to say about with Pikmin. I don't know if I necessarily like Pikmin 3. I've been going back and forth on whether or not I do. I'm not sure if I want to LP it. If I don't, then that means Pikmin 2 will be my last Pikmin LP unless Pikmin 4 somehow appears. You know, Miyamoto's been saying for years that Pikmin 4 is done or like almost done or whatever. It would be releasing on Wii U any day now, but now it's like the Switch is here many years later and they still have no idea what the heck Pikmin 4 even is. I don't know. There are things I like about Pikmin 3. I love the graphics. It looks amazing. Uh, probably the best looking game on the Wii U. And also, if uh, Pikmin 3 ever gets ported to the Wii U, then the or the, to the Switch, then the Wii U is basically 100% dead. Because the only thing that uh, Wii U has going for it is that game, honestly. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention you can go ahead and unlock this, and we don't have to go backtracking it. What the heck? I could unlock and relock it. I didn't know that was a thing. You could actually lock it again if you wanted to. Question is, why would you want to? That's interesting. But yeah, you can actually unlock the door, and here we are, back at the beginning, so we won't have to backtrack too far this time. But yeah, uh, I like the graphics of Pikmin 3. I like, uh, the gameplay is definitely a million times more improved than previous Pikmin games. The Pikmin are super smart in that game, but, uh, I don't know, just stuff about it did not top Pikmin 2 for me. I know I'm, like, in the minority in that regard, because a lot of people don't like Pikmin 2, which is surprising to me. I... Uh, didn't think that uh, that was actually the case, but turns out that is the case. But it's just not super challenging to me, and I kind of like that about Pikmin. Just it was so challenging, I felt so like desperate and hopeless all, a lot of the time. But I don't know, it's just a thing. And also, you don't play as Olimar, so that's another reason why I don't like it because you don't have to the big nose handsomeness with you. Oh well, whatevs. There's another complaint for another day. So I've just been going back and forth as to whether or not I want to let's play Pikmin three. I guess I could always like uh, play on Viznomatic if I'm not sure. That's like the ultimate scheme, that's why I go ahead and join Vizna Max so all my uh, recycled or trashed LPs get passed on to them or something like that. No, whatever. But turn your back! We want the key! We're opening the cell right now! Uh, go over here. Mario, hurry up and open it! Hooray! We saved everyone! And this looks very awkward. Little Patoonie, are you really in a hurry, are you? No, I'm fine. Thank heavens. Hey, big brother, I have something for you. I meant to give it to you soon, you might. Mushrooms are your favorite, aren't they, big brother? My, well, this one kind of got dragged out. Oh, nasty. Big brother, I was lazy, wasn't it? I'm sorry. No, no, not at all! Mm, delicious! Very 
This relationship is weird. Ah, uh, he was nothing. 90 punies have joined your party. Now there are 101. So now we're ripping off the wonderful 101. Another game that needs to come to the Switch and then the Wii will be dead. Okay, we got ourselves a big singing posse now. We have all the punies of the world in our possession now. Like we just like flood them all into the pipe, which looks really funny. I just love how stinking plentiful looks. I don't know, it's just funny to have all these stinking characters following us. I wish they could actually join us in battle, but no, we cannot go through the entire game like this. That would be very cool, but unfortunately, we can't be cool, I guess. We can only be Mario. Who am I saying? Mario's cool. It's actually kind of funny. Um, one of the directions they gave um, when creating the music for Super Mario Odyssey, uh, originally, they, the people who did the music, they gave Nintendo like a sample uh, disc and it had like a lot of cartoony and goofy songs and stuff. And they were like, no, Mario's not cute. Mario's cool. And it's sort of just a funny direction. And uh, sort of the opposite with the SpongeBob movie. They tried to give the people who did the music for that, they made the music very epic and stuff. And they actually uh, rejected it. Nickelodeon was like, SpongeBob is not cool. He's a nerd. Make him nerdy. So that's kind of funny. But they still have really cool songs in that movie. Hey, what's the matter? Uh, just saying hi. You ready, Mario? The first star is at the very bottom of the tree. Uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, I do. I did lose some, lose some punies along the way, though, so can you go ahead and calm back? I understand the situation. Just wait a moment. Punies! I was expecting her to, like, say something about us finding all the punies, but she doesn't really seem to care. Uh, what do we say? I love you. <laughs> well, I'm shocked. Who makes fun of an old woman like that? Honestly. Why, well, if I were just 10 years younger, I'd show you. Oh, you best believe it. I'll have you know that in my younger days, I was considered a puny prize. I had so many suitors, I had to fight them off. <laughs> now that I think about it, there was a particularly fine boy named Punderton. Two hours later. Speaking of SpongeBob. And that's how I became the puny elder, the leader of the puny tribe. Now you know my tail and I know yours, so good luck to you. Very glad I found that dialogue because I almost forgot about it. But yes, now that we have our posse, we could have the entire tree opened up, opened up to us more or less. And it's going to be very annoying to drag all these punies across from here. Uh, do we go? No, that's the one that just leads down there. So let's jump across and I don't wait that bit. I don't know how things work. Hit that. There we go. And we just have them all sticking out. I like how Puniper is the only one we can see because he's the only chunky one. It looks very funny. So go ahead and blow all the punies down. It's kind of annoying to do this, but oh well, it's sort of like Pikmin. Like, all the bubbles looks very nice and stuff. Just keep on blowing, keep on blowing, keep on, keep on, keep on blowing. Get a few more, come on. A few little stragglers. Get there, there you go. Uh, we do need to blow, though. Come on. Have one drop down to the ground. And wherever you may be, near far what the fruit just happened. I've never seen that before, why does it keep happening? I don't understand, I guess I'll just wait for you to get cross on your own. JK, I'm really impatient, but it didn't work anyway, so it wasn't worth anything in the end. I still haven't seen that movie actually, and that looked really funny how I was turning around and flying in the sky. Okay, let's head down. Making my way downtown with punies and flurry. I don't know why I'm singing so many songs and I don't know why I walked all the way around here. Could have just jumped. Oh, what? Yeah, that's why. I was like, why am I walking around here? Do I just forget about the pipe or the shortcuts or whatever? No, it's because necessity. We got them bare necessities. The bare, the bare necessities. I don't know why I just suddenly turned to the musical number. It's because flurry's with us. We got have all the big epic stage performances and all that jazz. Or more like all that jabs, because we got jabbies and stuff. I'm funny, right, guys? Heading back out here, so we can go across. Now we haven't actually seen the left side. Uh, that thing's gonna knock over all of the stinking punies, isn't it? Uh, or I could just do it myself. Part of me feels like there's a hidden block around here or something like that. Uh, is there? No, there's not, but I'm in trouble with this stinking piter. Go ahead and hit him. 
and all the stuff falls down to the ground great oh what i was thinking about before is that there's a red block over there that we cannot reach how are we ever gonna get that badge well you just have coops at that and you can get it uh it is ooh a damage dodge partner badge that's pretty good cut damage by one hp with a guard action command for your ally not for mario so we got both those badges now let's go ahead and hit them on the rebound simple enough if i do say so myself but all of our punies have fallen off the cliff so geronimo collect all the corns and the flowers because i kind of need them i uh, see this little piece of paper is slipping off so that means flurry is needed to blow this thing away there we go uh, let's see if we can find all of our punies first. Hello, friends. Thankfully, there weren't any piranha plants down here. Otherwise, you'd be done as dinner. Uh, nothing back here. Nothing back here. Anything back here? No, there's not. Keep on examining all the bushes. Hey, there's a star piece. He thought I was crazy. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should have higher expectations of you. I believe in you guys. You guys like me, right? Maybe? Possibly? Please? Hey, we got a shop, which is nice. We got secret agent puny and some other puny there. It looks really cool. Uh, new items, we got the Mini Mr. Mini, which is a very funny name. It shrinks enemies, it makes their attack power drop. And uh, this thing, the HP Drain, that's what it was called. Uh, ice Storm does ice damage, like the Thunder Rage, except with ice damage could have a chance of freezing. Uh, but one thing that is very interesting is if you examine this uh, tree stump. Hey, it's Jabba! Why are you hitting me there? Whoa, a Jabby? Not good! The little feller's gonna get mixed up in my stock. Yeah, secret ancient puny is all deep voiced and epic and stuff. Does he have a mustache? But I suppose I can't go dis disciplining him. He's still just a kid after all. Oh, what a precious little thing. He hasn't done anything wrong. Mario, we simply must go easy on the poor dear. No, let's get him. Okay, we'll leave him be. Oh, what ails you, my little pudding pie? He seems so lonely, doesn't he, Mario? Why, he looks like I do when I step into the spotlight and then forget my very first line. Now I want to see fan art of uh, Jabal just as Flurry or something like that. Oh, hold up now. You know what? I believe he might wish to join us. The young Jabby silently nodded his head. It appears you have a new ally. It's just a tiny little Easter egg. I had heard from the rumors from Madame Flurry to them uh, Jabbies. Yeah, the word is out. Mario can win over the hearts of anyone and everyone. I tell you, as, uh, as a people person and as a salesman, I must say I'm more than a little jealous. So just a little extra thing you have. You'll have one little bit of uh, fighting power with you. And if you clear the chapter without finding him, then you can never find him again, actually. So it is very good that we found him now because otherwise he'd be gone forever. I actually didn't know about it for the longest time, and it's actually really cool that they added him. I don't know why they need to do it like that, but he's here. He doesn't really do anything. It's just a fun little Easter egg. Uh, what I want to do now, though, is, uh, what is he, wait, what do you say? So you know something about it, huh? Well, listen, Jabby Lair has an alarm. Can't go in there, uh, because Jabby's fight. They attack in one huge clump, duh. But we have enough manpower, so we should be able to take care of it. Uh, we want to, uh, store some things with you. want to give him the Ultra Shroom, because we're not going to be using that for, uh, anytime soon. So it's good to just get rid of that. And I don't really want any of this, so we're just going to keep on going. Head on out of here. Uh, we could use the save block, but I think we're good to go. So now that come on, guys! I said you were better than Pikmin. Now you guys are just being obnoxious and just like walking over here, and then I'm suddenly losing some of you. Go over here. Uh, hopefully there wasn't anything to the right. Now I just gotta check. Uh, there was a door, but it's locked, so I don't have to worry about it. Hooray! Uh, go back up here and walk down here. Now that the piters are gone, we can walk across here. Thankfully, I'll uh, have them fall off the cliff. If this was Pikmin, this would be horrible. But thankfully, they are a bit smarter than that. Uh, just make sure they get across all the zigzags. And enter the left side. I was worried that they got cut off and then they wouldn't come in here, but thankfully that wasn't the case. A whole lot of stinking jabbies are coming out. We gotta wait for every single one of them to come on out and stand in line. Happy rest the jabbies! Their wings look really cool. It's a 100 jabbies squadron! A charge! Come on, Mario! We got the power of 101, so we should be able to win and go ahead and use the blow attack and just make everyone super dizzy, even our own allies. So I don't know if this is actually gonna work. But whatever, it somehow works. Just believe me, just trust me. Now there is actually a chance you could lose this, it's just a matter of luck and you just have to keep on coming back in here until you win. So, uh, as long as you have the 100 puny squadron then you should be good to go, but 
Um, there is still a chance that we could lose, and it's kind of funny if we do, but whatever. Hopefully we won't. Oh, that was awful. They walked all over us. We have to regroup and try again. Oh, we did lose. That's kind of crummy. Thankfully, it's not a game over, but we just get kicked out. We have to go all the way back in. Yeah, all the way. Just turn around. But we have to watch them do their thing all over again. We have to watch them come out all at once and have their little march and the siren go on. Very slow, like. I would speed this up, but I think it would give people seizure if I had them moving around that quickly. Uh, go ahead and charge. Woo, Nelly! Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and keep on blowing, see if we can do any amount of damage to them. It's really just a matter of luck. Come on, if I could do it, if Captain Olimar would be here right now, he could command them like no tomorrow. Uh, just keep on attacking, see if we can get like a big group of them. Uh, I don't know if the blowing actually if it, uh, takes them out or if it just stuns them, I don't really know. Uh, just keep on attacking, eventually someone's got to win this fight, come on. Hurry it up! We got Punipers all knocked out because he's lame. Petunio, no! We guess we got Punio though, he's still charging the stuff. We got Jabal around here somewhere. I wonder if I can find the Jabal. It's like a Where's Waldo thing. Where's Jabal? I need to find him! Where's my precious Jabal? What did you do to him? I have no idea. I don't really care either. And we lost again. Great! Cutting away to when I win this thing, because my god, this should not be taking so long. Wow, we're just beating on that one last one. It was kind of funny. Oh, uh, well, we beat him. We KO'd every last Jabby here. Hooray. Now let's destroy the Jabby High Fortress. Everyone goes in there. Jabby has to destroy his own home. How horrible. He's doing it for the sake of friendship. I like how the explosion doesn't vibrate the controller, but the whatever they do in there does. I don't know. Uh, I'm actually going to leave it on right here in the pile of corpses. We defeated both Jabby tribes and we have full access to the Great Tree. Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we are going to continue our journey through said great tree, as if we were going to be doing anything else. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.